Good morning. I'm Dr. Desmond Wai from the Desmond Wai Liver and Gastrointestinal Diseases Center at Clinical Hospital, Singapore. Let's talk about reflux disease today. The full name is actually Gastroesophageal Reflux Disease, or GERD in short form. Reflux disease is a very common problem. It affects about one out of five Singaporeans uh, in the population. Um, I always tell my patients that reflux does not harm the life, but reflux can affect the quality of life. What happens in a reflux is that in a normal stomach and esophagus, we have an esophagus here, followed by a gap, what we call the gastroesophageal junction. It's like a one-way bath. The food will then drop into the stomach. Normally, this one-way bath is closed. It only opens after we swallow. So after we follow, after we swallow, food will go down to the esophagus through the sphincter and drop to the stomach. But in people that have reflux problem, this gap or this valve is open all the time or intermittently at the wrong time. Therefore, patients with reflux can still swallow food, but when they are not supposed to, but after eating, the food can reflux up from the stomach back to the esophagus. So when the food reflux up from the stomach to the esophagus, they feel a bit of chest tightness. When the gastric acid reflux back from the stomach up to the esophagus, they will have a burning sensation or what we call heartburn. Other symptoms of reflux include when the acid moves up from the stomach to the esophagus to the upper part of the throat, patients can actually feel sore throat, they can present with a cough, or they can present with having a sensation of a lump at the back of the throat. What are the causes of reflux? We doctors do not really know the exact cause for reflux. What we know is that in patients with reflux problem, the gap between the esophagus and the stomach is lax. So food can go down but can also come up. But what causes a gap to be lax is really unknown. But studies have shown that when patients consume uh, a lot of alcohol, when patients smoke, in patients that are overweight, or in patients that consume a lot of spicy or, or chili kind of food, then the reflux symptom can be worse. Reflux is also worsened by having a full stomach. So I normally tell my patient not to take, not to take a lot of food over a short time. In other words, no buffet, but a la carte. Patients with reflux come in with a chief complaint of abdominal discomfort, chest tightness, heartburn, or bloating. Rarely I have patients presenting to me with a cough or sensation of a lump in the throat. So um, we need to make sure that reflux is the only problem, no other problem. So we normally do a physical examination, make sure that there's no mass in the abdomen, the lungs are clear, there's no cervical lymph node, they have no uh, pallor or they are not jaundiced. I would then normally do a gastroscopy. We put the camera from the mouth through the esophagus through the gap and to the stomach. The whole aim of the scope is to check to make sure that reflux is the problem. We also want to check to make sure that there's no other problem besides reflux that cause uh, such symptom. Besides, reflux can lead to some inflammation, bleeding, narrowing of the esophagus, or even cancer. So the scope is necessary to make sure that none of these problems are available, uh, none of these problems are present. At the moment, we do not have a good medicine that will tighten the gap between the esophagus and the stomach, but we do have medicine that can reduce the amount of gastric acid production. So when there's no acid, they don't reflux back to the esophagus. We also give patient medicine to move the food from the stomach to the small intestine faster so that they do not cause so much bloating and they don't reflux back so bad. Besides that, we also tell patients to do some lifestyle changes and that include uh, cutting down on alcohol, quitting smoking, keep the body weight within an ideal weight, do not overeat, and do not eat buffet in one time. Some patients that have chest problem or heartburn during sleep, we also ask them not to sleep with a full stomach, in other words, no supper. Reflux is a common problem, but it is not life-threatening. It does affect patient's quality of life, but it is treatable and uh, it is controllable.